welcome and would you like to give us a brief opening statement about the upcoming season? Well, I'm excited to be here, excited to get another season going. Uh, coming off a, a very satisfying, gratifying season where uh, we accomplished a lot of things that we wanted to do. Um, this team, we have more Letterman coming back than we ever had before, more starters back than we ever had before. And, uh, and what I told them, uh, the one thing they have going for them, but no other team since we brought it back has, is they're coming off a winning season and they got a, a, a really good taste of winning and it's carried over. It's, it's, we've had a very positive off season, um, a lot of leadership, a lot of want to, and, and we're very excited. I know everybody's saying that, but uh, we feel like uh, last year was just the beginning uh, of something great. We, we feel like our best football is still ahead of us. Uh, we're still an improving program. Uh, we've improved every year, and we fully expect to do that again this year. Uh, with that, I'll – they're going to talk first? or what have Yeah, we Reggie, okay. if you'd like to uh, – uh, I'll introduce them first. Reggie Begleton, uh, great story. He's walked on here for us, a Beaumont product, uh, went to Westbrook High School. He's led the entire league in receptions as a sophomore, uh, was second in receptions this past year, and we got him back for one more year. Uh, he's already our Lamar uh, reception leader for a career, and he's got a whole season left to go. And we're expecting great things again out of Reggie like we have the last two seasons. And Xavier Bethany goes by Bubba, plays in our secondary. Uh, had as good a sophomore season as anybody in the league. We'll have uh, Xavier for two more years. Both these guys are outstanding players, outstanding students, and do a great job for us on and off the field. I'm very proud to have them over here with me representing our program. Hit it, Reg. One of the most exciting things we have about this year is that we have a lot of senior leadership on this team. Um, that's one thing that we're looking forward to, getting these young guys in uh, to mold them and, uh, for the future of this uh, program. And uh, we've been, this whole summer, we've been, we've been, been grinding and uh, we're just ready for the season to go. Xavier, you have your thoughts on the upcoming season? Uh, yeah, well, uh, my my expectations are high because we our coaches have recruited a, a whole lot of freshmen that could come in and play with us as well. And, and they're training like they want to get on the field right now to this day. And, and like Reggie said, we have a whole lot of seniors that, that come in leading, playing. And we've been working this whole summer, so I just hope it pays off. <laughs> Okay, we have microphones on the floor. Uh, if you have a question, we'll, we'll get you a microphone. If you'll just uh, say your name and your news agency. Harold Mann, KLVI Beaumont. Uh, Coach Woodard, we do have a lot of guys uh, coming back on the offensive side of the ball. However, one key ingredient missing off last year's team, and of course, Caleb Berry, who had uh, just record numbers of Lamar passing. How's the battle going between Joe Minden and Carson Earp? Oh, it's going well. I think we had them both here this spring. Uh, they're both the talented players. They're both very intelligent players. You know, Joe's already in graduate school. Carson's never made a B in college yet. They both pick things up uh, at a high rate of speed. I think it helps other than Mark Roberts, who was a heck of a player. We got our entire receiving core back and all our running backs back. So he's had a lot. Both of them had a lot of people around him with experience. I think sped their, uh, their learning curve up a little bit. But they haven't played it down. And uh, they haven't really separated themselves from each other. So we'll go into camp with both of those young men uh, battling out for the starting position. Uh, and probably won't know until we get to conference play. But uh, they both uh, bring a lot to the table. We're very excited about having both of them on our team. But to answer your question, we, uh, hey, we don't have a starter yet, but we feel good with both of them. Yeah, Danny Shapiro, Bowman Enterprise. This is for all three of you. Just Eighth in the conference again for the second straight season. What are your, just your thoughts on being selected eighth? And obviously, you guys finished third in the conference after it last year. So what are you, kind of your you know, preseason expectations to get back to that point? Well, um, based on the, on the polls, I mean, it's nothing but polls. Uh, the season hasn't started yet. Uh, we just have to come out and just show everybody that, that we're ready to go again. I mean, it's, it's another year. I mean, you can't live off the past. I understand that. but. I just saying for anybody, like just like Sam Houston's number one. I mean, you can't live off the past. You want me to say something? You want to say something? About it? Well, you know, obviously uh, we got some locker room material being picked eighth after finishing third. That's great from a coaching standpoint. 
from a conference standpoint, I kind of understand it. We got a lot of very good established football teams in this program, in, in this league, and it's very tough to crack that. Uh, we did do that last year. Uh, obviously, where we're picked, a lot of people don't think we can do it again, and we'll be able to use it at the right time. Uh, but in order to uh, get that year in, year in respect, year in, year out, we're going to have to do it year in, year out, and we know that. Uh, but we're very proud of, of what we accomplished last year, but we know that what Reggie just said, we can't live off of that. Uh, you'll see us move up in the polls if we continue to put together the type of seasons we did last year or better than that, and that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, so it's a little bit of both. I, I understand where we're picked, uh, and I'm kind of glad that we can use that. Uh, what I'll tell our players is we have nothing to do with polls. That's what people think. Where we end up is what we have the control over. So where we end up, we have everything to say about it because we play the games. That's what the school board's for. So we'll use that at the right time. Is that okay, Bob? Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, <laughs> I was going to say uh, the polls are nothing but numbers. And the way we work is, is the way we're going to play. But at the same time, I feel like it's motivation too because we have no respect right now. And we're just working to we're just working to try to get somewhere this season. At the end of this season, we'll see we'll see what where, where, where we are in the polls and how and how we stand. Uh, Gabriel Pert with the Port Arthur News. Uh, this is to Reggie and uh, Xavier. Uh, is there a different feeling going into this year? You know, besides years past, coming off the successful season that y'all had last year. I mean, me, many people could say now that. Uh, we know we know what it feels like to win, but like I said, it's, it's a whole nother year. So as long as we're working hard and we all have to have to want to, I believe that we're going to be successful. Uh, we can't, like I said, we can't look at the past. We have to keep looking at the future and keep working hard. We just can't let that affect us. I mean, we're coming in uh, trying to win the uh, win the conference ring. I mean, I feel like the whole the whole team right now is building a bond with, with the freshmen on up to the seniors because the seniors are building the, not, not the seniors the freshmen are building off of us and they're learning they're learning the material that we've learned and we're still learning but at the same time we got to be leaders leaders at the same time so it's just like uh, if, if they see us working hard they're going to work hard Y'all have a lot of fire after lunch. <laughs> Gerald, you got to ask something before we get out of here now. I just want to ask if that's spelled correctly. That one's spelled correctly, yeah. That one is spelled correctly, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to win nine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> James, I didn't bring it up. Gerald brought it up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gerald. <laughs> yes, sir. PT, yeah. Hanson Broadcasting Company, Coach Woodard. Not a lot of people know this, not unless you told them last year, but I think you got it since last year. You know, they refer to you as Coach Woodard, but you have another title, am I not correct, that you earned? And this is one thing that your student athletes, they can look at their head coach and know that this is a very important factor, being a student at the university. Can you please share with the rest of this class, this room, what you, uh, what you earned? Well, I did, and uh, this past fall, I earned my doctorate degree, and uh, it's just one other thing they can put in front of some curse words at a ball game. But I am—I did earn my doctorate, very proud of it. Uh, uh, took a lot of work. Uh, I was kind of leery of trying, trying to finish up my dissertation during football season, but it worked out, and uh, I'm very proud of that. But yeah, I am—I am Dr. Woodard, along with a lot of other things I'm called from time to time. Question for Reggie. Reggie, and you talked about this a little bit earlier about last year, of course, you had uh, Caleb Berry throwing to you, somebody you were accustomed to your first two years. Whether it's uh, Carson or Joe, how much work is it going to take? Is it going to be a big adjustment with a different quarterback throwing those balls to you now? Uh, from a receiver to quarterback perspective, it's always a big jump, especially when it's new. Um, that's what the offseason is for. We've, ha uh, we've had the luxury of having them uh, in the spring instead of coming in at camp. So we've been working since then, and I believe we'll be all right, no matter uh, which quarterback it would be. Y'all 
Yes, sir. Coach Woodard, it's PT with uh, Bro Hanson Broadcasting Company again. I don't know if a lot of people know this about you. Can you give us a reflection over last year when uh, the last game of the season, you came over to McNeese, but there's some ties with you in Lake Charles a long time ago. It's got in the program that you're from Corgan Camden from East Texas Red Dirt Territory. But before that, where did you come from? And tell us your background there and in the relationship to the last home game on how it felt for you. Well, we're from East Texas, but my father was transferred to Lake Charles with Southern Pacific Railroad when I was about four. And uh, I grew up right next to Magny, so I went to FK White right there for eight years, and um, that was really my playground, that whole area. I kind of grew up there, and then right before high school, we moved back, but that was a very special area and a very special game. I grew up, you know, being a Magny Cowboy fan, and uh, to win that game over there was very special for me. It was almost like a homecoming, yeah. Alex Hickey, like Charles American Press. Uh, Reggie and Xavier, what did winning that game over McNeese mean to you guys? Because, you know, the, the background of both of those teams, so many come from Southeast Texas, and to finally beat them, what, what did it really mean for you too? I mean, any rivalry game, uh, you, you get a little bit more uh, satisfaction when you actually win it. Uh, you, you talk about the beginning of the year, you know, that, that last game, that, that, that robbery game, and then um, the fact that it was McNeese, I mean, we all felt good about it, felt great. Um, yeah, it was just a really good win. Coach, John Lance from the Hammond Daily Star. When you did your off-season self-evaluation, what did you – point to that the areas that you needed to get better to get over that hump the what's the last distance you guys have to travel to uh, to get to where you want to be in terms of beating the the top echelon in the league well uh, first of all uh, I looked at myself and, and kind of my MO and not only since I've been at Lamar prior to that it seems like uh, my team plays better the second half of seasons uh, we normally if you look at our record, uh, we're not as good early. Now, this year we're going to play Sam Houston Southeast the first two ball games. That may have a little bit more to do with it, but uh, we, historically, uh, my teams have not played as well early. And if we're going to have a chance, we're going to have to play early because we're going to go to Baylor, to Huntsville, and to Hammond in a row the second, third, and fourth week. So we better be better early if we're going to have a chance. So I, I looked at that, what we could do uh, differently. Um, uh, try to become a little more detailed, try to put in. Uh, I've been a type that we kind of added as we went along, uh, and I think that may have something to do with it. Uh, we're trying to put more on them early. Uh, we're also going to condition more early. Uh, I just uh, have looked at that. Uh, but to beat, to be honest with you, to beat uh, the top teams in the league, uh, we've, uh, we've played well uh, for stretches against people. Uh, we've come close a, a few times. Uh, we're going to have to do a better job of coaching, and we're going to have to play uh, better for 60 minutes against the good teams. It's just that simple. Uh, we've went in at halftime against a few teams feeling good. Uh, have Sam Houston beat us 14 to three two years ago, uh, so we're you know we've played uh, okay at times. But in order to to beat the best, pretty much you're going to have to be the best, and that's what it's going to take. Uh, I think depth has something to do with that. I think for the first time we have more depth than we've had. Uh, that has a lot to do with it. We get wore down sometimes, and, and I think uh, the more players you have with experience, the more you can play. So it's a combination of a lot of things, but uh, we understand uh, the fact that we got a lot of coaches that's back. We got a lot of players that are back. We understand how tough this league is going to be, and just saying it is not going to get it done. But uh, it's their force. It's their force. We want it. And then, uh, if, if we're, uh, since we brought back football, this is our best opportunity uh, to play and, and wouldn't compete with the, with the top teams in this league. And I'm really looking forward to it.